what's up guys you already know what it do it's a girl and i'm back with another video before we get into the video my apologies for this bad lighting and just sorry for this video the video is gonna be a mess because i'm currently packing to move and this is the best background i could find because my room is a complete disaster right now but yeah let's get into the video this video is long overdue you guys asked me how was i able to pay over fifty thousand canadian dollars not Jamaican dollars, fifty dollars. Fi what? Fifty thousand, over fifty thousand, close to like seventy k for three years. In Canada, how was I? How did I pull it off? Um, I'm sorry for my viewers who aren't Jamaican or viewers who can't understand Pato because majority of this video I'm gonna be just dropping facts and. Sometimes I just don't have time for standard English, but um Please give this video a thumbs up. Uh, don't forget to like share comment subscribe all that good stuff on the road to some <laughs> What's wrong with my brain today on the road to 800 subscribers? Um, Before we get into the video guys, listen Me don't want nobody feel like say I'm I have money Cuz I have money and even before me come to Canada, I me never have money. My dear Canada, I still not have money. Just want to put that out there. But yeah, before we get into the video, why me looks so shine? Um, anyways, just forget that. Before we get into the video, me just give given a given a little back story, nothing nothing too too much. Just for have an understanding of where I actually come from, right? So boom right in the video when i have no time i'm just i'm just exhausted and tired right now i'm no now wait for the video so i just want to put it out like asap so like i'm a graduate high school right and then a month after i'm gonna get um i get my student visa because i did apply for college way before i finish high school so months after i get my student visa and the same month months pass but the same month before come to canada is it the same month my mother lose her job so the whole not really the whole family just me my mother and my stepfather everybody just depend what we are going to do now because and i like say me see for college because it never planned for me just come to canada i did know some that go come to canada eventually but me never done a savings. My mother did do some savings, but it wasn't enough at the time, and we'll get to that. So no saving never happened. Nothing, as I, as I said, it wasn't planned, right? So alright, mother lose her job. Time for go Canada now. Listen, it's in my first semester. My first semester, six thousand dollar. I'm a stepfather. My stepfather paid that. Close to close to a million Jamaican dollar or more than a million Jamaican dollar and change. So my stepfather paid my first semester, right? That good. And my uncle, now my uncle will kick me out. My uncle will there the states. <laughs> I feel I'm just like giving a whole lot of details, but you know, we just like get into it. So my uncle from the states, Emma, because before you apply, to college you have to pay a holding fee depending on the course so if you're taking a course which is always packed the college itself is gonna ask you for a holding fee so they're gonna give a seat to somebody else basically so the holding seat me that would be a 2300 and I'm an uncle in the states paid at 2300 because and then the rest of my first semester fee them deduct the 2300 so my mother and my stepfather pay the rest all right boom that done so fast forward to me reach a canada now in my head me just have it say once me reach a canada everything is all right you know me go figure it out that's how me tell my mother says she not for worry once me reach a canada me go figure it out <sighs> boy i would know what me get myself in a honestly me know what me get myself in a but if you guys watch the previous video you know where me i come from but Reach a Canada, I think everything is alright because I have family in Canada, right? So I think I have help somehow. Nothing like that. You see, if I want to come to Canada and study, 
and go to school and all that good stuff, you have to go put yourself out there. I mean, what people think, say, people have it in them head, say, international students have money. Don't get me wrong, majority of international students will come to Canada. Of course, you're leaving your country to come to a foreign country to study. Of course, majority of them are going to have money. I'm not going to hide and say them not have money because their parents pay off them school fees, so they don't have nothing to worry about. Them just come study and after them study them either them go back to them country or them live in Canada. But me know the majority of international students them already have them money. Like them already save or them parents have money. You can't go to Canada and think say um they are gonna get handouts. Cause firstly, your parents not paying a tax here, so you can't come and expect to get money from the government. It doesn't work like that. And for you get a loan from the bank, you need somebody to sign off. You need somebody to sign off and say, um, you got to pay back your loan. So that means, say, me did almost that, you know, I'm glad that I never did. I'm glad that I never did that because I probably would have a bigger problem than with me in and out. Ah, Jesus. Anyways, so, when the first semester done, me I said to myself, oh, I got to pay the rest of the semester, guys. The money cheat, like, Six thousand, seven thousand a semester, but you still have to pay for book, you still have to pay for bus fare, you still have to pay rent, all them things there. So people now consider that um, my mother thinks that everything alright, so because my uncle there, not not alright. And the thing with me, the what? <laughs> the thing with me, I'm not gonna tell my mother to me I stress out, cause if me to like some stress, she get stress. I'm not want that, so I'm just pretend like everything alright, but. As I say, I can't come to Canada and feel like say certain things in a wand because when me in a, when me just start college, the first job I get, I want cleaning job, right? When I just come to Canada, the first job I get, I want cleaning job. I would have clean like I know I not even want to start crying because this this I get emotional. But the first job I get, I want cleaning job. And I told me, I'm still in my first semester, so I said no, I'm afraid find something else. For do, I have to find something else for do because I need more money. So, <sighs> Jano, I'm really got you some shit. Anyways, I'm not even gonna stop balling, guys. Can't bother with the foolishness. Um, ah, <sighs> anyways, um. My first semester, I said to myself, say, my need to find something else to do because them say, you have to work under 25 hours when you study, right? You can't go over 25 hours because that, that's just the rules and regulation. So what I do, I say, all right, me can't go over 25 hours. My 25 hours, I come from the um, Chuck E. Cheese. The cleaning job, I do them pay cash because I just people always say I go clean, so... So, me I work at Chuck E. Cheese, me I do a cleaning job, and then me start the babysitting. Keep in mind, when I do babysitting, my parents are going to ask for CPR, my parents are going to ask for food, food, food handling permit and all of them. Just some safety regulations, but the good thing is that the course that I was taking at the time, I'm already certified in all of that. So that did make it easier for me to make money. But... The entire time when my day at school, if I'm not there class, I'm there work. And on weekends, I'm not have no time for rest, I just work. So meanwhile, me I study me, I have two, three, four jobs I do because me know I say once the semester open, I have to pay some money. Right? So any job I can think of, any job I can think of in Canada, now me do. Any job I can think of, we in Canada, me do. Labor work, cleaning, babysitting, any type of factory job, Naomi do it. Any job. Except stripper, I never got a party, but I didn't think about it. I <laughs> didn't think about it, but I never got a party. But no, for no joke, I said, like, people think it's easy because they see her and live a certain way. Like, me never have the luxury to say my parents them pay for my school or. <laughs> Me a family for help with certain things. It, it, that never was the case. Like I didn't have any help. Like, me not gonna lie, Auntie Dana. If I never for Auntie Dana, <laughs> next story. That's a for one next story time. But if I never for Auntie Dana, and if I never for my stepfather, my stepfather, Jesus, God bless. 
God bless that man. But if I never for my stepfather, if I never for my mother herself, like that's why I'm saying my average cause <laughs> when I think me a joke. When I think me a joke when I say my average because the amount of people when me reach them of rich too. The amount of people. So when it comes on to Auntie Dana, Auntie Dana is who I stayed with when the incident happened and my uncle kicked me out of the house. And Kathy, them people like so sometimes I meet some people and it's like, you know, God really put in on my life for a reason because if I never meet you, all oh, this or that happened. So I'm saying I'm gonna regret meeting nobody, you know. Even if me even if me dislike you, I'm gonna regret say you coming on my life because you coming on my life for one reason, like you teach me something. Because the sun is shine, blur is neat. The sun is set right now, but um, I don't want to to go into details with some with something, but I just want to make a note say it did hard, like it hard. I never nothing easy me go through, yo. Me even remember um, me even remember like my last last semester in college, I get this cash job. <laughs> And the second day I go to the job, like the first day I go to the job, I said something right. Something just never feel right, yo. And the second day, the second day I go to the job, you know, you know the, the manager, the manager try for do, the manager try for. You know, can't must think. The manager try for, um, attempt to rape me, but. Him think say, him think say, me no know. Him up to this day, me think say the man think he da go go say because me need a job. Anyways, that's that's the next story time, guys. <laughs> Yo, let me tell us something like me go through some things in life. Me no know how me still living, but we're not gonna dwell upon that, cause you know, me still alive for some reason, but. I know majority of only I watch the video probably won't come again and come study. And the best advice I can give you is save your money. Because once I reach other country, people go feel like them can step over you or control you in some way or form. They go feel like, or for instance, if somebody help you with something, this is one big one. If somebody help you with something, right? Them go feel say because them help you, them have control over you. Well, for people over you have that mentality like say, just because you give me water, that means say, if I say jump, me have to jump. So like, just be weary, just be weary of people who they get close to. Cause if you come at like, I'm not even sugar coat it, cook sugar coat. I'm not even gonna sugar coat it. If you come at the country and you're not already have your shit together. Just get ready for, for your hard life because when me dear Jamaica, me did think my life hard living in one bedroom with my mother. Me did think so life hard. Life hard just yes, as much as all <laughs> as much as all I have a roof over my and food to eat. My got days and weeks with zero dollars on my bank account. Literally. Zero dollars. And people think say just because you're not know, get up every day and complain that mean you have it easy and people always um like just think you have money like majority of the things that the not even majority everything i have my hustle feet nothing not never given to me like nothing <coughs> nothing at all like my god dears when I said days, I got days without eating food, fam. Because at the end of the day, when you know you want something, you're going to go feed. I'm going to go feed. That's just how it is. When you know you want something, you're going to go feed. But the way. I know. It's never easy. That's all I can That's it. That's all I can say. I just feel like. I just don't want to go into too much details because if I'm going to too much details, 
the video will probably be over one hour. I mean, I don't have time to edit all that. But I um, have to say, the way on me get for like push my way through school, my stepfather, my mother, and me. That's how. Cause me in a college, me in a college full time, not part time. Cause for international students, you can't be in college for part time, and <clears throat> we know this. So me, they are college full time, and me I work five, six jobs because when me I got, me not have no choice. Me not have no choice. Cause me tell myself say, you know what, me I come to Canada, me I go figure it out at the end of the day. Me not, me never expect it for easy. So probably that's why me never give up. Because we never expect it to be easy. And it never was. And it's still not easy. But what may I got to give up? No, youth. I have my mother. I have to build my mother a big, <laughs> a big house. I have to build my stepfather a mansion. I have to build my mother a mansion. And then I have to give her a good life. Like <clears throat> People see you. But people don't know your story at the end of the day. Because everybody thinks that. Yeah. Your life, your life great. My life not great. I'm glad that my life not great because what would I live, like, what would I live for if I did have it easy? I wouldn't have no story to tell. <coughs> I wouldn't have no big success, success story to tell. <coughs> but trust me, um, I can't say to anybody who want to come to Canada or any foreign country, go study. Have your shit ready. Have your shit like prepare yourself. If you can prepare, prepare yourself. If you know say yeah, come here and have it. Make sure you're ready for work. That's all I can tell you. Like nobody, nobody here will come give you a go hand you seven thousand dollar every four months for study. Unless me no know, you know what kind of job I do or what kind of money I have or what kind of Parents have, but if you have a parents for giving money for study, by all means, that's great. But may I tell you, for me, when my parents never have it, my parents plus my stepdad never have it. <coughs> me, no, so my dog a struggle, and me never, me never have a problem with that because I could have it worse. I mean, no people out there have it worse than me, but <coughs> we won't get into that today. but I don't want to make this video no longer. <sighs> I just feel like I did all over the place. But if you don't get what I'm saying in the video, <laughs> thank you. Can't thank you enough. But yeah. Hope you guys have an amazing rest of the day. And staying safe. Um, and just leave in the comments questions. And I'll answer it. Our video suggestions. That would be greatly appreciated because I just feel like I did all over the place with this video. But at the end of the day, I don't must get what I say. Right? Oh, I pay $50,000 in our college. I work my ass off. Yes, and the thing I forgot to mention, my last year in college too, <coughs> I was dead broke. Like, I never have, when I say I never have nothing, I had to be that bus for Volvo school. My ex at the time, he was the one that helped me. I'm grateful for that even though me and him know but I'm grateful for that like he was the one that helped me so you know that last year in, in college man I went to the Caribbean immigration lady and I'm like you know I don't have it and she's like you know what we could do for you because at the end of the day them need the money so them go figure out a way for you pay the money at the end of the day because them not go just kick you out of school or nothing like that. So I said a promissory note, say me go pay off everything before me, me, me left the school, right? <coughs> Which I did eventually. Instead of paying like seven thousand dollars for four months, I think I paid like one thousand seven hundred a month. Something like that. Only can like if it's possible and you reach a situation, then I'm gonna try to work out something with you. But that me did want to add so I got to pay it gradually. I never pay everything at once. But 
it's still never easy like but yeah if you guys want a story time on anything just comment down below hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm sorry if i was all over the place um see you guys in the next video and thanks for watching